what happened to Stephen Hawking? Did his death have something to do with Jared Kushner, Donald Trump, and an alien find in Nazca? Coming up next on Deceptions of the Ages News. Hello everybody and welcome to Deceptions of the Ages News. The first thing I want to do is thank you all for subscribing. Oh boy, I just said it, so here it comes. Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, ah, ah boy. Ah, it really got me there that time. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this off. If you guys could go ahead and subscribe, that would that would really just uh, be great. I, I'd like that. It's not really good. And I, it's hard to tell if I got that all cleaned off. Hopefully, I'm not standing here talking to you with a bunch of blood on my face because that uh, guy over there in Queens didn't subscribe. All right. Thanks for bearing with me there. Now let's talk about today's subject. Today's subject has to do with yesterday's story, or actually I guess I posted on, on Monday, about this mysterious phone call and then this uh, supposed guy finding Flight 370 in the ocean somewhere. Well, that led to this question uh, from one of my uh, subscribers, and let's take a look at this. The question is from Crazy Arts, and Crazy Arts asked, does this have something to do with Steven Spielberg's death? So I looked into it and there is some high strangeness that I haven't seen since I was down in Mount Shasta. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click here. Now before we go any farther, I want to explain to everybody, especially those who are not familiar with my channel. My channel, as you probably saw in the introduction, deals with the topics of Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons, and Extraterrestrials, which are the subject of my best-selling book. Now, if you haven't read this book, this is, uh, if, you're, if you've been to college, this is uh, a 101 course in conspiracy theories. It goes everywhere from ancient Egypt and Greece uh, all the way to the modern uh, era, talking about the CIA, the deep state, uh, Donald Trump's election, etc., etc., now, uh, the reason I tell you that you have to read this is because we're going to borrow some information from this. But if you don't understand this book, you really don't understand how science and religion have conflicted with each other and developed the modern secret state that we have today. So we're going to look at some information uh, from actually the Latter-day Saint or Mormon religion. But just in case you're one of those people who has a very closed mind, I'll put that at the end of the video and you can just look at the information that has a deal uh, with what happened to Stephen Hawking and what was he working on when he died. All right, so these are the facts. Stephen Hawking died. He died on March 14th. Now, before he died, there were a couple of things surrounding his death that were quite unusual, and one of them has to do with this quite attractive uh, murderess uh, who threatened him and told him that she was close to him and that she could kill him if she wanted to. Now, she is an American, and judging by her looks, uh, she's probably somebody associated with an intelligence organization, or uh, she's a paid assassin, um, or, or, or worse, could be one of those. Um, ladies of the night, I don't know. But anyway, she did threaten Stephen Hawking's life, and she did say that she was close to him and she wanted to kill him. Why would anybody want to kill the affable and lovable uh, Stephen Hawking? He's so attractive in his wheelchair. Now, the answer to who might want to kill Stephen Hawking has more to do with the Freemason element of my book, Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons, and extraterrestrials. Now, Freemasons are good at keeping secrets. And if you read my book, that's probably one of the biggest points you're gonna come out of uh, having read it, 
is that the Freemasons control a lot of information. And why? Because they like learning things, they're very scholarly, and they believe knowledge is power. They also believe that if you let knowledge out, you will lose your power. So one of the things that they want to keep under wraps um, probably has to do with Stephen Hawking's latest project, Working for the Russians. So what Stephen Hawking is saying is that, or in his latest uh, project and research, what he's found is that the edge of the universe is, according to him and according to his latest findings, the edge of the universe is not jagged. It is like a soap bubble. And now I'm going to try to explain this to you as clearly and concisely and as least confusingly as I can. All right, here is Stephen Hawking and he is a scientist. He joins forces with Yuri Milner of Russia, a billionaire working on a project in order to find out if first of all, there is a extraterrestrial life out there. And second of all, they were talking about building craft that could reach uh, the other like Alpha Centauri and uh, nearby stars. Now, uh, this is very interesting because at the same time that Stephen Hawking has gone to work on this project, there have been other discoveries uh, that have gone on uh, starting in 2008. Now, this information all comes from a Kremlin organization called the SVR. Now, it's probably related to the KGB if it exists at all. And what the um, report says is it goes over the activities of um, the uh, finding of a alien-like creature in 2008 in Siberia. And what they found is they found a finger and the finger DNA did not match any human DNA, nor did it match any um, DNA associated with uh, like Neanderthals or uh, Australopithecines or anybody of any of those uh, of the um, human evolutionary family uh, fame. Now, uh, so in 2008, they find a finger and they test the DNA and lo and behold, doesn't match any DNA that they know of on Earth. Now in 2017, or 2016, I'm sorry, in Nazca, no, in 2017, I was right the first time, in Nazca, they found a mummy with three fingers and it had an elongated skull. Now, what does all this have to do with Stephen Hawking and Yuri Milner and looking for extraterrestrial civilizations? Stephen Hawking was working on his final project was Stephen Hawking is a theoretical physicist and he was trying to solve this problem of what is the eventual fate of the universe. And over the decades, they have gone back and forth. Is it shrinking? Is it expanding? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Is it getting warmer? Is it getting colder? Then they find dark matter. But what uh, Stephen Hawking was last working on was an idea that, uh, according to some uh, physicists, astrophysicists, uh, they believe that the edge of the universe is very broken, like a shoreline. And therefore, uh, it is what they call a fractal, a fractal universe where everything can just be um, broken up into the smallest, smallest parts because the edge of the universe is actually jagged. All right, so let's get back to this Donald Trump, Jared Kerr, and uh, Yuri Milner connection. Now, now, this is pure speculation, but... Stephen Hawking is giving information that supports the idea of an extraterrestrial entity having visited the Earth, possibly visiting now, possibly coming back to visit in the f very near future. And he's working on this idea uh, for a Russian um, industrialist who is working with Jared Kirshner, uh, who is the son-in-law of Donald Trump. So it is my firm unfound speculation that uh, what they found was that these inter these beings are interdimensional and they found out how they work. Stephen Hawking was actually proving the mechanism by which they travel and he was, uh, that information was being filtered to Donald Trump. So why is this information being given to Donald Trump? Well, besides the fact that he's head of the United States of America and the most powerful military in the world, 
Uh, we also see that uh, Donald Trump is very proactive in releasing information about UFO contact. So the question is, you've got the Russians who are uh, finding a lot of information uh, that supports uh, the idea of um, contact with aliens. You have Stephen Hawking who died, who's working on a project that could have been working on the mechanism for how they travel. Uh, all this stuff is in my book, Deceptions of the Ages, if you really want to read it. And I wrote this in 2010. Um, so this is not anything new. Now, um, why was Stephen Hawking uh, killed or murdered or threatened? And that is the last uh, thing that we're going to talk about in this video, is that this is the Freemason side of it. Now, for some reason, and this goes back all the way to um, Eisenhower's supposed communications with uh, the tall uh, blue aliens or whatever they are back in the 1950s. They specifically told him, don't announce our presence. And that is why we have the men in black, um, blah, blah, blah. We have so many um, mechanisms in place uh, to destroy people's lives, to destroy people. Um, and uh, according to a D at the uh, Soul Connection in Mount Shasta, if you have contact with an alien being, uh, the U.S. government will lock you up and put you in prison. So it is illegal for any American citizen to have contact with an alien being. So why was Stephen Hawking killed? Why was Stephen Hawking threatened by this woman? Well, because he was out of line, and it is my firm belief that uh, the Russians and uh, Hawking and Kirshner and Trump are all working together because they know something is on the way. And how do we know that something is on the way? Because Stephen Hawking even said that we really need to stop trying to contact these alien civilizations. So why would somebody with his scientific background say that? He must have a very good reason and he must know that something's on the way. So the last thing I'm going to do, as I promised, is talk about how um, the extraterrestrials and the Freemasons that are covering them up and threatening people uh, who disclose and killing people who uh, disclose information about them and their technology. Now, what does this have to do with Mormons or Latter-day Saints? Now, according to Mormon beliefs, first of all, there are um, a lost tribes of Israel that are somewhere out floating in the universe. Now that may sound crazy, but we have seen so much UFO activity within our solar system that definitely somebody has, um, has arrived or the, the solar system is definitely becoming more and more populated with another or other races of beings. The second thing that I want to point out as far as the Latter-day Saint religion is that um, <clears throat> this has all been um, the beliefs of Latter-day Saints for uh, almost 200 years now, is that uh, definitely there are other civilizations out there and uh, that the children of Israel are trying to come back and that Joseph Smith uh, even talked about having contact with um, extraterrestrial beings um, and we know them as God and Jesus Christ. And they emitted uh, light um, in the same way uh, that an interdimensional being uh, would emit light if they had crossed into our dimension. So, um, if this stuff fascinates you, I encourage you to read my book. Uh, look at the Book of Mormon if you like. It's all really interesting stuff, and uh, you talk about your tinfoil hat stuff. The only problem is now that it's coming true, people are starting to die. And before, it was all just something that people laughed about. But now it's becoming serious business on Deceptions of the Ages news.